Hey guys, we are back and I am making a Forever Red soap. This was a request from a customer. So I am going to get that made. I'm going to use my hot lye water to melt my oils here. And then we're going to do uh, deep rose, rosebud, and maybe some white. All right. Now, you guys all know I never wait for that to completely melt before going on. A green on my stick blender from the last batch. Let's get this scraped out. Put all my yummy additives in there. Just pulsing to get that all emulsified. In with our coconut milk. Now I'm gonna wait to add my fragrance. Okay. Now, the one that's white, I'm going to leave unscented because I have a feeling, it's been a while since I've made this soap, but I, if I remember correctly, it discolors some. Not bad, but it does discolor some. This is Rosebud, and then I'm going to use Deep Rose for these two. And those two are the portions that I'm going to add my fragrance. So just a little bit in there. The rest will go in here. We'll get our white mixed up first. And then I'll go to my lighter pink color. not to sling it everywhere. Let's give these all a quick stir. quick today because I have so many batches to make so I'm trying to keep each batch under 10 minutes from start to finish that's my goal for today now I am gonna swirl this when I'm done fragrance portions wanting to set up on me. That's okay. No biggie. I 
I think it makes for an interesting swirl when you have different consistencies of the batter. I think it really makes for an interesting design in the end. All right, let's get these scraped on top. The ending is actually what takes the longest time. You know, the scraping and all that. <laughs> takes much longer than actually making the soap. And I am, I have 17 batches of soap planned. This is number six. And it is only 11.30, so. Of course, you know, I couldn't start until after I fed the kids breakfast, and I will probably have to stop for lunch. But all in all, we are rocking and a rolling to get these soaps made. Okay, this white is like way fluid, considering the other two. <laughs> But that's okay. Kind of nifty looking on top where the white is totally not a setup. Need to whack that. There we go. Get that down wasn't wanting to go down in that corner back there. We manhandled it. Woman handled it. <laughs> Let's glitter. And another one is done. Bring you back for the cutting. Hey guys, I'm back to cut the Forever Red. I'm actually really anxious to see how the inside of this turned out. I can see a gel ring, but that'll go away. Oh, nice. Very pretty swirls. Nice. Very nice. And of course it smells absolutely amazing. I'm so glad I that somebody requested me to do this soap because I it wasn't on my to-do list. I wouldn't have made it otherwise. So. All right, let's get our end pieces cut here. All right guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.